Don, I love thinking about eternity, particularly into the future. Before my birth, uh, I'm not sure. But into the future, as time goes on, what, what is the meaning? And there are a lot of different ways to think about it. Uh, I talk to physicists. They talk about the evaporation of black holes, 10 to the 100th years in the future. That's not eternity. I talk to some theologians who believe in the resurrection and the restructuring of the universe by God uh, and a, a kind of a whole new being, a new heavens, a new earth. So it's vast kinds of different ways to approach eternity. So you are both a physicist and a believer. Uh, how do you view eternity? So I, I'm a Christian and believe that, that, that through the resurrection of, of Jesus and the forgiveness of sin, that gives us the hope of eternal life with God. But I, I do believe that that's a resurrection. It's, it's not a continuation of an immortal soul, that God resurrects us into a new heaven and a new earth. And I don't, I don't have much of a picture of, of the details of that. I do believe that we're going to be free of pain and sin and, and able to glorify God. So I suspect that this is going to involve some change in the, in the laws of physics, that, there, that the new heavens and new earth are going to have, have improved forms, or at least improved for us, for the, uh, for the laws of of, of physics, what, whatever they are, that we can commune with God. So I'm going to give you your belief, of course, okay. uh, and you believe it. Now we're gonna, I'm trying to figure out how I can make sense out of that okay. in terms of the, the science that I know. So I think the first choice is, okay, you're going to be resurrected. There's going to be new heavens and new earth. Is it going to be a change in the laws of physics, or is it going to be some total different uh, realm that the laws of physics are completely irrelevant? Well, when I said laws of it, I guess I just meant whatever the rules or laws are for this thing. So I'm not quite clear whether there's a clean distinction between the two. I think there will be a certain amount of, co of continuity. I mean, I think that, that, that Jesus did plan to come back to this earth. And I, he does seem to give us the hope that what we do now for, for his king, what we do now for justice, will have some eternal value. It's, it, it's, it's a little bit of a paradox that, 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 that in one sense, I think he promises to make th all things do. And yet, on the other hand, there is an eternal value in what we do now for justice and helping, helping the poor. I mean, our family's involved in, in, the, in a small uh, relief or organization, the Community Health International Learning and Development Foundation that works in India and Haiti and, and other places. And I have the, the hope that you know, there'll be some effects of that that will last for eternity. Although I think, you know, the things maybe we've done wrong or that eventually things will get corrected so that everything does work. Okay, but um, as a physicist and you look at the universe, uh, you see a progression and dark energy is gradually increasing the expansion uh, rate that the universe right. is going. And so eventually, 10 to the 100th years, and you just have... Uh, a vacuum with uh, you know occasional thermal fluctuations here and there with you know big photons uh, stretched out by the expansion of the universe so you have nothing um, you know that's clearly not your hope for the future how, how do you get from one to the other well I think God does have to create a new heavens and new earth now whether you know whether this will go on in parallel with with, with the present one that the present one just goes on with this somewhat gloomy future that you yeah. that you talked about that life and particularly when the stars burn out then then it will be very hard for life as we know it to persist so i do think there's much more hope for eternal life in in some somewhat different universe or, or new heavens and new earth or, or changed in, in some ways that you know and i don't know the details of that but i certainly don't think it's what we would get by extrapolating the present laws of physics to the indefinite future. So the extrapolation of the present laws of physics, uh, and no matter how you do it, you get gloom, whether it's a, an expansion into, into the heat death or a big crunch into, into destruction by, by, uh, uh, by the laws of gravity and super black hole, whatever it is, there's no happy ending the way we, we, we see the universe today. Uh, that has no effect uh, on your belief system in terms of what God can and can't do. Right. I think God can resurrect the, you know, can resurrect the whole thing. I mean, I could point out that, of course, some of the people with super string theory say that even, even our expanding universe may be unstable to forming a new Big Bang, and then maybe some, you know, that, which might have, in certain cases, parts, certain parts of the multiverse, first new civilizations in form. So there might be repeats, but I. But if it's, if it's the present character of the laws of physics, I don't think it will be as glorious as what God's promised to us in the, in the, in the, the resurrected life. So I, I do think there'll be, have to be some changes from the laws, even as they apply all across the multiverse, in, in order to give us the, the resurrected life that God's promised.